so recently I have been doing a lot of things that I think have really been helping me figure out my style. So I personally take style as something that is supposed to be comfortable, something that I can feel confident in, and something that fits my lifestyle. I'm going to be giving you a few things that you can actually use and do to find your style and let's get right into it. So a lot of these steps I gathered from different resources, other YouTube videos. So I'll have all the resources that I use to create this video in the description box in case you want to do some more exploring yourself. If you're new here and you like watching video topics like this, I upload every Monday and Friday. I do a lot of makeup content, fashion content, so if you like stuff like that, definitely consider subscribing. The first place you need to start is in your Marion closet at home. Clean out your closet, get rid of the clothes that you don't wear and don't fit into. Having clothes that actually fit and that you'll wear is a great place to start because that kind of narrows it down to the clothes that you actually like and the styles and brands that you wear. So I keep track of the clothes that I actually wear. The way I do this is by putting clothes in a little portable closet that I have. I just bought a cheap one off of Amazon and I use it all the time in my YouTube videos. But I found it actually really helpful and it's been fun to help create like capsule wardrobes and stuff. So I use that, but you can also do stuff like just section off a piece of your closet and put the clothes that you have been wearing in that section or you can put them in a basket, like maybe a laundry basket, just to kind of keep track of the stuff that you do wear. Once you've been keeping track of all the clothing that you've been wearing, you can narrow it down to the colors and brands that you do wear. I was always told that I could never pull off the pastels and yellows. Once I got over the idea that my style revolved around everybody else and that it actually revolves around what I like, that was my first step to figuring out my style. You get to decide whether you were drawn to pastels, whether you like the darker colors or the lighter colors. For some people, it's just one color that they like. If you're like me, it's a mixture. If you can just figure out the colors that you are generally drawn to and like out of the clothes that you already own, then you're off to a good start. It's a really good idea to figure out what brands you wear. If you find yourself wearing a lot of one particular brand, sometimes it takes a few times to find my right size, so it can be trial and error. A couple brands that I find myself really able to wear a lot of their clothes has been American Eagle, the Curvy Line, Lulu's Boutique, and ASOS. I have figured out my size in those brands and it's been really helpful because I've been able to find a lot of stuff that I like and that I can afford through those brands. So now that you've decluttered your closet, you've discovered what brands, what colors, and what clothing you actually wear, now it's time to jump into the inspiration. This is when you get to spend hours on Instagram and Pinterest and all those social media sites to find all the inspiration, all the outfits that you like. I love using the search tool on Instagram to find outfits that I love and I'm gonna leave you a couple Instagram accounts that I follow for outfit inspiration. So the biggest way that I'm able to keep on top of style trends and figuring out what styles I like is by following my favorite boutiques on Instagram. I'm going to show you guys a couple of the boutiques that I follow to get the inspiration and outfits that I like. When you're looking for outfit inspiration, I think it's important not to focus on the person, but focus on the outfit. You're there looking for outfit inspiration. You're not there to compare yourself to another person or something like that. I think that's definitely a root that you can get into with Instagram and Pinterest, but you're not there to compare yourself to something else. You're there to find your outfit. So Instagram would probably be my number one tool that I use. Something else that I do is just search boutique online and I will just look at boutique's web pages and I will look through the different outfits and clothing that they offer. And I do this by looking at the web page and looking at their new arrivals to see what kind of clothing is trending. And that's kind of how I keep on top of trends, if you were wondering. <laughs> because that's how I've been able to find like really good deals on puff sleeves, dresses, all that kind of stuff. Second favorite way to keep on track and figure out what styles and trends I gravitate towards has been keeping a mood board on Pinterest. Puffy sleeves has been one that I have pinned multiple times on Pinterest. I will just purchase one of those if I see that I'm pinning that multiple times and I will keep that as a basic in my closet. This isn't the type of video where I'm gonna encourage you to go and do a bunch of shopping because I think it definitely takes time to figure out what styles you're going to gravitate towards. 
So I would suggest taking your time with the first step, figuring out what you wear, and then take the time to actually set aside a little board on Pinterest that shows all the styles that you're really interested in. And if you see yourself pinning one outfit or one type of clothing or style more than a few times, maybe consider looking into buying a clothing item like that. Finding a mood board and starting on Pinterest is a really great way to start understanding where your style is going. It's a great way to start instead of going out and buying a bunch of clothes that you think you'll like. I would suggest just start to narrow it down Start figuring out what you think you like. I love using Pinterest because it's something that you can use to have all of your outfits in one little spot. All your thoughts, everything can be done in one place. And I really like that. There's gonna be some that prefer Instagram and there's gonna be some that prefer Pinterest. I prefer both. Now that you've decluttered, you have figured out what outfits you actually wear and you've started getting inspiration on Instagram and Pinterest, this is when you can start experimenting. I'm gonna be saying that each step is my favorite, but I think this step is my favorite because this is when I go into stores and try on clothing. There are a lot of ways that you can experiment. The way that I personally like doing the most is just going into stores, my favorite stores, and trying on their clothes, trying on the new clothing that's in, trying on new trends. That's how I figure out what styles and trends I'm gonna like. So that would be my number one and cheapest way to start finding out your style. Um, but there are some of us like me who are not very close to stores. So I don't really get out to shop very often, especially right now with the Corona. The way that I personally have been finding the, the best way to experiment with style is then trying clothing subscriptions like Stitch Fix. A more affordable option would be Fashion. You can try rental subscriptions like Rent the Runway and Haverdash. There's just a lot of options these days to try clothing from home. Amazon Prime Wardrobe is another one that's really great if you want to save money. So I know clothing subscriptions and rental companies can be really expensive. It's definitely um, a little bit more pricey option, but if you're really serious about it and you really do want to find your style and you don't have the option to go into stores, then try these out. See if this would be something that would work for you. And honestly, having a professional opinion on your dress and everything has been really helpful for me. So, but it's not for everybody. So one thing that I really, really enjoy doing is going into super expensive stores when I have the chance and trying on their clothes. Um, even though I will not be able to afford them, sometimes it just gets me going in the right direction. Something that I personally have been doing that I think has really helped me um, just get the core base to finding my style has been investing in the basics first. This is just something that I recommend off of personal experience, but I have been able to grow and develop my closet slowly, step by step, which I'm still developing, but it's just been really helping the process along. It's really easy to get sidetracked with really pretty colors, the florals, especially the spring, which I will admit I may have gotten a little bit sidetracked recently, but uh, beside the point, I do try to focus on the basics first. It's been helping me to narrow down my style and be able to wear more outfits and have clothing that I can actually wear. I like knowing that I'm going to have the basics ready for when those beautiful statement pieces come along every now and then that I can just pick up and I know that I'll be able to wear them because I have the basics. So ever since I was little, I always had this misconception that you could only have one style. Like I love mixing looks i like mixing boho and trendy looks like it's it, that's when your personal style comes into play definitely don't limit yourself to one style unless that's what you prefer if you just want to be known for one specific trend or style then go for it that's you but personally i like mixing styles i am all over the place when it comes to styles just some questions that you can ask yourself when you're looking for outfits in your style is do you feel confident wearing that certain piece of clothing does it fit your lifestyle? Is it going to be something that you're actually going to wear? And for me, this search for my style is never going to stop. I'm going to be always looking. Um, I think you get better and better as you go. I think trial and error is definitely a part of fashion and um, it's definitely how I started. Stepping out of your comfort zone, like creating a YouTube channel, having an Instagram where you kind of keep track of your outfits has been something that's really been helping me and helping me figure out what direction I'm going with my style. And honestly, the search to finding your style, just, it's gonna be a while. It's not gonna stop. You are on a mission to find your signature style. It's not going to be a fast process. I really truly believe that being stylish isn't something that you were born with. It's something that you develop. I 
had no idea how to put an outfit together but recently I feel like it's been getting better. I have a long way to go, but I feel like it's been getting better the more I do it and the more I force myself to get outside the box, not be consumed with what this bracket of people have told me that I look good in, erasing what other people's opinions are, focusing on what I wanna wear and what I think represents my style and my personality. Um, all these steps and tips and tricks I've been using myself to find inspiration, find where my style lies, and hopefully it will help you. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you very soon in either a Stitch Fix video or a clothing haul. Bye.